The vault is an independent underground scenario with a very, very large building area. It is surrounded by a platform where furniture and defenses can be put around it. As you can see, the vault is even bigger than your house and garden combined, but only the central area is buildable after flooring on. The dark gray area is the equivalent of your yard, where furniture and defense units can be placed, not structure units. Light gray is unbuildable, but you can still walk through it. The vault is a separate part of your manor, but still connected. It'll also introduce a new resource into the game, security points. More on that later. The vault upgrade is a significant boost to a survivor's quality of life. As a builder, you can now focus on decorating your mansion without sacrificing any furniture cap scores for storage. As these guys can now be placed directly in your vault and remain accessible. An added bonus is that simply storing your valuables in the vault will also earn you survivor reward that can be used to purchase Formula Plus materials, wallpapers, home defense items, and basic materials with security points and a combination course, of gold and or fed credits. This update will also deter thieves because of the added difficulty in finding and breaking containers to successfully compromise a manner. Because now, containers could be secured inside a defense-oriented vault or split between the vault and the hidden compartments inside your manor because now the prospective thieves have two sites that they need to pretty much spend and break durability on just to get things that they probably won't need or like so all in all a very good update important things to note that we will talk about in a new update are the vault itself its upgrades, security points, security grades, ending your vault, and finally, vault market. The game also facilitates furniture relocation quite readily. If we are talking about cabinets, moving your items to your vault from your manor, and moving items to your manor from your vault, is really really simple all you have to do is select the cabinet you want and move it this cabinet will be placed in front of your yard but I really don't want them in the yard anymore so I'm gonna move them back that's all it is really every single one of your cabinet will be placed near in the dark gray area the unpacking area you'll still have to move them to where you want them to be though but, in short, it's done automatically for you, so there's really no reason not to do it. The initial size of your vault is based on your manor level when you first unlock it. As a manor 11, these are my initial caps. I have 29 defense units, 270 structural units, and 85 furniture units. All of these will be upgraded in the vault plus tab. They're, these are permanent upgrades, mind you. Once you buy them, they're there to stay. These upgrades could be purchased by security points and new dollars. I don't know if the prices will go up or they might use different currencies as the level go up, but I'll let you know as it goes. You can either choose to upgrade your floor space this will add additional floors per upgrade, letting you expand your vault downwards. Structure enhancements will increase the structure cap in the vault. An increased structure score will allow you to place in more walls and floors. This can lead into elaborate labyrinths or just a grand vault if you want. Enhanced defense is self-explanatory. This will let you put more things that'll annoy anyone who tries to get inside. Furniture enhancements are mostly for, in my own opinion, storage cabinets. 
This means you can put a lot more inside the vault. This also means, well, you can just pretty much stuff everything you want where the sun don't shine, you don't have to care about it. Since everything you store in the vault is still accessible through you, regardless of what you do, because it's connected to your manor. Let's talk security points. Security points are the currency that your vault generates that's produced per hour based on the value of valid supplies in the vault. Security points are pretty much directly connected into what the game perceives as the value of an item. The value of an item does not exactly mean its price in gold. Say if you were to use the old energizing system or the nano conversions, you can see that higher tier materials are usually rated for having a higher resource score. And the higher rarity class it is, the more score it'll give. With that being said, security points are then calculated from these values and generated per hour. This number will decrease or be reduced if your manor was broken into and crumpum right based on the value of the items lost. This has a cap. Security points also has a cap. Security points will cap out at 50,000 points. They will pretty much go to waste if you don't spend it when it's capped. So it'll be in your best interest to make sure that you do not waste your points. Another very important thing in this update that you have to take care of is your vault safety rating. Your vault safety rating will determine how much security points that you're able to earn per hour. Every manor starts out at 1,000. You will earn 25 points a day for making it through the day without any incidents. Incidents meaning no one broke into your house and stole anything from you. So try not to make that happen. As the ratings go up, so will the point acquisition bonuses that you'll get. At C rank, you'll get the point acquisition bonus of 40%. Instead, as the game has told you, if you have managed to go up into S rank, you will instead get a 200% extra bonus. This means, say, if I were to earn 100 security points flat without any bonuses, I'll be able to earn 140 points an hour as a C rank manner and 200 points an hour as an S rank manner. This means that I will earn around 3,300 points a day as a C rank manner versus 4,800 points a day as an S rank manner. This also means that. As a C rank manner, I'll be able to earn just about 100,800 points a month. While as an S rank manner, I'd be able to earn 144,000. That's a 40,000 point difference just by security grades alone. Those are points that you can spend. This makes it very, very important to deter attackers as much as possible, either through creating an elaborate maze placing drones on standby, adding in more base defenses, or simply by joining an active camp. In short, you can always just get more friends. In case your vault was breached, your vault has an auto defense system in form of poisonous gas that will deal direct HP damage. Gas will be triggered during a break-in should the intruder destroy or attack any buildings or trigger a trap. Gas will then slowly spread from these ports and slowly creep up 
throughout the entire vault in a predetermined manner. Gas cannot travel if the building or the wall or the floor itself is intact, but it will slowly and surely creep towards the invader. At level 1, gas itself is manageable. It wouldn't hurt that much. Our resident thief has actually been sent on a mission to test this out for you guys. Feel free to watch his example and do note how much level 2 gas hurts. Level 3, I assume, will just kill you straight out. Plan accordingly. Security points could also be spent on the exchange, where you can buy formula plus reagents, wallpapers, things to make your house prettier, defense units, advanced defense units that you can also pay with nano or basic supplies. There's, these are nothing too special, but it will make your life easier. Especially now that you have absolutely no reason not to defend your home because of it. 